Cam. I'm your host, Amanda Height. This week, we focus on tennis and their remarkable start to the season. Here's a closer look at some of the team and their head coach. Take a look. Well, certainly, uh, we've started about as well as we could could have hoped for, and um, you know, we're real pleased with that. Um, uh, the guys worked hard in the fall, and we felt like we set a good foundation for things, and we, we're seeing we're seeing evidence of that now. Uh, truth of the matter is the, the real season kind of starts now that we're entering into March. Our conference season starts this weekend, and so hopefully we can continue to back up uh, in conference play the results that we've achieved out of that, and so far so good. With so many different nationalities on the team, how do you manage to coach all of them when they're coming back, when they're coming from different cultures and everything that goes on in their home countries? I mean, I think the fact that we do have such diversity and have had over the years, there's strength in numbers, and many of whom adjust or assimilate a little more easily due to the fact that they're not the only one in that situation, that they're accompanied by others alongside them or that have come here before them, that have had to go through the same type of transition. So that in and of itself helps, and just due to the fact that that's been the case for some time. and. Hopefully, I'm a little more uh, familiar with some of what that involves. Being in America, have you found some things that you've enjoyed? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, for example, just we can practice um, all the afternoon in tennis, and I don't have this opportunity in France because I need to choose to choose if I want to go in school to study or just play a, a sport. Mm -hmm. So I'm really happy to can be like do both here. How do you help the younger guys on the team adapt to America that are from different countries? Uh, well, um, I've experienced that, experienced that before. Um, and I think uh, it's really helpful to have a guy who has been through all of that um, before them. So anytime they have any questions or any concerns, um, they can always ask me. Uh, and I'll be glad to help. Um, also, leading by example is is a big part of it. Uh, I think um, it's important for them to have someone that they can look up to. So that's it. Erica, for a couple years now, what is it like trying to kind of get settled into a totally different country? I mean, my freshman year was pretty hard because my English was not uh, really good. <laughs> so I was struggling with the classes and everything. And obviously the change of culture, country, being away from the family and everything, it's not easy for us. But as long as like you stay more years and more years, like you get used to it. And then it's just like four months here and then we get to go home for summer for so long. So it's not as bad as people think it is. <laughs> What's been your biggest adjustment coming from Spain to America? Well, I think that the food is a big one and also like when you're back home you're with the family and you don't have to do everything like here you're alone and usually like the laundry uh, it gets bigger every single day and you have to do it at the end so this is I think the the biggest like move that you have to do here a favorite food here in America <laughs> I would say burgers <laughs> I don't know <laughs> Burgers are very good. Uh, we have them in Spain, but they're not as good. So yeah, I would say that. I would say cookout and most. Everybody coming from other places. So is it like a culture shock when you guys travel or what happens? What goes on in the players' heads? Certainly some years more than others, we'll try to, whether it's in the fall or the spring, travel mm -hmm. through the Carolinas, Tennessee, Virginia, Georgia, Florida, just to expose them to uh, <laughs> some different uh, venues and some different settings as opposed to here in Bowie's Creek. And some have had uh, more of that here in the U.S. Some have had very little, if any. Some have traveled more uh, worldwide and some haven't. But, it, yeah, it's, it's always fun to, uh, to ex expand the horizons and go different places and see some of the reactions and responses. So <laughs> it's fun. It's entertaining. So tell me a little bit about the game Butts Up. Okay, so um, we basically do that for fun. It's just uh, like a warm-up uh, game, um, and it makes it competitive. Uh, it's basically we play like a mini tennis, and then whoever loses has to go uh, in front of the fence. And <laughs> one more, one more from Lucas. Oh! Oh! 
This week is another busy week in the Creek. Today, women's tennis is home as they take on Radford at 2 p.m. to start off their conference season, following with softball as they start a weekend tournament against Appalachian State, Ryder, and Norfolk State. To end the night, baseball will host Ohio State at 6 p.m. to start their weekend long series. Saturday, catch both men and women's tennis as they take on UNC Asheville at 10. That's all for this week's edition of Camel Cam. I'm your host, Danielle Stansa, and I hope you have a great week.